They're in their room. All right, testing. Here we go. Um, <laughs> and mom walking by. Anyway, so this is me, Brian. Today I thought I'd show you guys how to manipulate some, Im some images with your Shotwell, with your Shotwell viewer tool. You know what I'm saying? So right now, as you can see, I'm in my pictures folder on my filing box over here. So we're gonna open up this folder. We're gonna go to this file folder. We're gonna go here, and then I have some images. I have an image right here of mom that I want to crop. Uh, so I can, if I just want to save it, I go right here to the image viewer. It opens up this window, then I click, and then I go down to save as. I give it a name. All right, let's see, um, mom and dad. All right, it's already saved as a JPG file. All right, this is it right here. These images are in this folder. Right, so you just click this right here, save, and it saves it. All right, or now, another way to do this, this is the way I want to do it because I want to crop it. Let's go back to where we are. We're to, right, in folder number two. Click, right click. Go down here to open with Shotwell Viewer. Now, when you open up the Shotwell Viewer, all right, let's it up here. I, this, this drops it into the tool, into the, the, the mini place. I can either rotate it, right, any which direction, 90 degrees, in, you know, or I can crop it, I can straighten it, I can clear the red eyes out of my mouth, and then I can adjust the color to it right here, up to the exposure, saturation, time, all that stuff, all right, or I can enhance the, I can enhance the video. All right, all right, put this button, I think, see, or not, this button makes it bigger or smaller. All right, okay, enhance it, you know, it's all that stuff. And then I can pin it to my clipboard, or I can leave sc full screen right here. So what I want to do is, all right, is what I want to do is I want to crop this picture. So we're going to put it right here. I'm going to raise it up a little bit. And I'm going to get this eagle in this picture, because this box right here is my dad. <laughs> this is my dad's remains right here, and this is my mom's. See, so I'm going to, I'm going to picture a mom and dad together, all right, to document this visit right here, so I want to. I also want to keep this octopus and these chilies in the frame because his mom kind of, you know, stuffed toys. So there it is. I want to hold this now, right? This unconstrained. When you open up this, you have all these different choices on how you want to make this cropping, how you want this format to look. Right? Uh, you want unconstrained. That's why you just leave it at the default. Right? You can go square, screen, original size, you know, SD video, video, you know, 4.3 aperture, 60.9. You know what I'm saying? You can do wallet size, you can do note card, you can do all these, you have all these different choices for all the different sizes you want to crop it to. Right? Me, normally what I do, because it's just, a, for me, it's just an image that I keep in my, in my scrapbook, I'm just going to put unconstrained. Alright, so we're going to go back up to unconstrained, and then I'm going to hit crop, and it's going to drop this out. So, so now here's my picture now. Since I have it cropped, I'm going to save it, you do right click. No, wait, oh, I forgot. You go up here to the file, right here, file. And you hit save as and it opens up this window where you format it right right now we want this current format and then my scaling constraint i want to go with width and height and then here right i'm going to go with 850 pixels right here because you cut it down or cut it down from 1.7 megabytes to a little bit smaller and then you want to export to metadata you want to click ok right now it opens up this window where we can save it at i'm going to uh give it a name mom oops and dad, right, JPG, where do I want to save that? Let's see, I want to save it in the pictures. Right, number two, number six, let's see, I want to do it, drop it in the pictures right here. Right, and then click OK. This is in the pictures folder at large. So there it is. Now, if I close this window and go back to my file box and right click, go down to pictures, right, it should be right here. This is the pictures that I just created. See, it saves it in the, it automatically saves it in the file box in your pictures folder, in the open folder, right, as, as, as the image that we made, right there. So, that's a quick over, that's a quick tutorial on how to crop and, you know, use your Shotwell tool, right, to crop images and, and how to store them in your filing box using Ubuntu 14.04 LTS. This is me, Brian. Uh, I hope I'm teaching you guys something. Thank you.